Hey guys, what's going on? Tour Cruise here, checking in with... Brandis. And we're also here with... Mini-Jong. So we're going to be doing a fun city cycling tour around downtown Singapore, going over to Chinatown, the Green Corridor, maybe a few other places. And we're going to be riding on our folding bikes today. So a big thank you to Mobot for lending us these awesome folding bikes during our time here. And let's go ahead and get started with today's ride. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> So we're starting over here in, of course, one of the most scenic, iconic places here in Singapore. We're at the Merlion Park by the Marina Bay. So another cool thing we noticed during our rides here is all these like sailboats. I guess you can reserve those, but you have to reserve a ticket like way in advance, I think over a month. And yeah, lots of people out here all times of the day. It's best to come here early in the morning because then there's not many people. And we saw a lot of runners and cyclists, but still it's, it's open enough that you can like enjoy working out but midday and evening there'll be lots of tourists i think this is also a popular like ride starting point and finishing point just because it's central everyone can get to it it's really scenic so it's a great place to take photos and it's kind of funny actually there was a big group of vietnamese people a big vietnamese tour that was taking a photo so tune's always excited when she hears people speaking vietnamese so for people who don't know my wife is vietnamese so. We actually live over in Vietnam, but this week we're here in Singapore filming a bunch of videos. And yesterday we did a big ride, the three of us, with Nini. And we rode all around the whole island of Singapore. We were on road bikes, so we're pretty tired. It was a 130 kilometer day, and we're also all on rental bikes, so muscles are tired, but we've only got a week here, so we got to make the most of it and ride as much as we can, film as much as we can. And we've been having a blast exploring Singapore. The pedestrian paths are really fun to ride on the folding bikes and yeah we've been having a good time you gotta be careful here thank you the nice thing is the cars usually stop for the pedestrians and bikes here but it's always good to yield yourself just in case they don't see you are your legs tired from yesterday yes yes <laughs> yeah we had a big day yesterday 130k otsukare sama good job so there's a bunch of these cool little side streets here. I love the like building designs. Everything's just so colorful. And yeah, all the different diversity. We got a bunch of Korean, like Indian places, Chinese places, of course. Oh, we got a Chinese temple here too. So we're gonna go up this little hill right now on the folding bikes. And Nini was telling me a little bit about this kind of architecture, how it's like, really popular back in the old days like the the shop would be down in the bottom and then the owner the family would live above still some people do that but not as much as before i guess and really popular kind of architecture here in singapore and in malaysia we have a similar like concept in vietnam where the family has a business on the first floor and then the family lives above but it doesn't look as like the same kind of architectures I like this architecture a lot more. It's a lot more like homey, kind of inviting kind of feeling. And just all the colors. You got pink, orange, red. Oh, cool. Yeah, some different artwork on the side of the buildings here. Yeah, it's really colorful. So this area is Chinatown. The whole area is Chinatown. Okay, so we're entering Chinatown now. Yeah. Tourists uh, and me, I will be Instagrammer. Uh -huh. and then take Instagram photos. Okay. Yeah, a few there, I can do there. And yeah, another cool thing here in Singapore, all the signage, of course, is in English, but not only is it written in English, but the names are like actual English words. It's not like foreign words written in English. And yeah, big change here. You can see those massive like apartment buildings over there versus these like smaller town kind of buildings here. Completely different vibe. And yeah, this is our first time coming over here in this part of the Chinatown area. We've got a, uh, oh, there's Conan. Chun Chan used to read that manga, Detective Conan. Okay, yeah, this reminds me a little bit of like the, the outside shopping arcades streets in Japan. Okay, yeah, you know all the artwork spots. <laughs> this one's cool. Nini said that these drawings like depict the, the old way of life for the, the Chinese people here. So we got some chickens down here. And this is where you wash the dishes. 
And yeah, a nice table full of some different snacks, but I'm surprised they don't have the rice. If you see this building, it means you are at Chinatown. Okay. Chenzhu <laughs> Fang. Yeah, it's like the Chinatown Tower. Yeah. So if you see this, you know you're, you're in Chinatown. Okay, we got another one of them here. This one's massive. Wow. This is called uh, Chinese Street View. Uh -huh. So you can see hawkers in uh -huh. whole day. Yeah. You can sell food on the street. Yeah. And also the uh, Ding Sum store yep. for some Chinese food and also like the vegetable, the wet market. Yeah. And the clothes. <laughs> Yeah, hang the clothing out by the, the windows. Wow. Ooh. A lot of people have some nice cars here in Singapore. Yeah. Entering the souvenir shop mm -hmm. street. So the tourists will buy souvenirs here. Okay. What are the popular souvenirs? I don't know, I don't buy. Yeah. <laughs> Usually local people, they, uh, they we don't, don't buy. We don't buy here. Right. It's more for our food. Some pandas. So yeah, we're going through Chinatown, but you can see it's it's actually Smith Street, which is the most like least Chinese sounding name. The old people, uh, they will play Chinese uh, chess here. Yes. Yeah, same in Vietnam, they play Chinese chess. And Chinatown Complex is another food area. Uh -huh. Yeah, cheap but nice. Okay. Yeah, there's so much good food around here. Like, every picture of food I see, it's like something I want to eat. So next, we're heading out of the Chinatown area. And yeah, just complete change of scenery over here. As we go into the, these massive buildings. But still, we got the, the cool little brick buildings over here on the side. Yeah, I really like the architecture style here. Oh, TWC, Tuo Cruise. Is it a Tuo Cruise shop here in Singapore? We got the basketball court over here. It's great on all the like different residential areas. They always have different like athletic facilities and playground areas for everyone to use. We got another Shake Shack here. Okay, I guess it's a pretty popular chain store here. And, oh yeah, there it is. We're gonna take a quick look here at the Specialized store. So they have a concept store over here. So right here along the street, we've got this cute little specialized concept store. They got a bike rack out front, so we got our bikes parked over here. And yeah, let's go on inside, check it out real quick while we're here, might as well. So yeah, quite a few people inside here and we got the wall here with some of the different frames. Cool S-Works frame here. And what else have we got? We've got the Athos over here. We demoed one of these at the Specialized store over in Japan last year. Really great bike, super lightweight. We got some more S-Works here, some Dura-A's. And of course, being a Specialized shop, they got all the different accessories and stuff here. So all the helmets, all the shoes, some more clothes. And yeah, all the saddles, tires, other accessories as well. It's cool to see that they have some mountain bikes in here as well. So I'm really curious how popular like mountain biking is here in Singapore. So we got some full suspension mountain bikes. And yeah, unfortunately, we don't have that much time today. We got a lot of places we got to go see. So we're just going to do a quick little shop tour. Very cool. Yeah. Tunchan likes the expensive bikes. <laughs> so there's lots of cool bikes in here that she had her eye on. So it's already quite hot today and Tuing is tired of Pokari sweat. Yep. So we're gonna get some different drinks today. This is some um, vitamin water or vitamin water. Check out this bird here. These guys like just chill around looking. So next we're heading over to the Green Corridor, which is a like nice nature path. And that means we're gonna be getting out of the city. So it'll be a nice escape, especially with the shade. So we've gotten a lot of recommendations from you guys, like go check out the Green Corridor. I think it's one of the top places that we got recommended to go to. So we're heading over that way now. 
And yeah, it's just so fun riding through all the different like pedestrian infrastructure here. But it's been a fun, busy trip so far here in Singapore. We've had an amazing time every day. We've had great weather every day. It is a little bit hotter today, but yeah, still not gonna complain. It's perfectly doable. I am wearing some arm sleeve covers today. The reason for that is I didn't put enough sunscreen on yesterday during the long ride, so I did get a little sunburnt on my arms and I don't want it to get worse, so I put it on just to be safe and, oh, <laughs> pretty bumpy section. So yeah, you gotta get off your bike for this part. And oh wow, it's right here, the green quarter. So we were just in the city a second ago and now we're on the green corridor. So I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe this is a kind of rail the trail. So I think they converted the old railway line here and turned that into the, this path here. I'm maybe just making that up. So if I'm wrong, please correct me. The path is a little bit rough actually. So we're on the small folding bike tire. So we do feel the, the vibrations quite a bit, but maybe the path quality improves later. Maybe it's just like this the whole way. Okay, yeah, we're turning on to this other section. A lot nicer pavement quality. All the way straight. All the way straight. So this is a old railway line railway. that they changed to this path? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, in English we call this the, or in America we call this the rail to trail. So they convert the railway line to a trail. We've got a bunch of these actually in my hometown in Michigan. And, oh, the tongue almost ran over the lizard. So yeah, nice escape from the city. We get some tree cover on both sides. So the speed limit's only 10 kilometers per hour. Nice and slow. Yeah, no speeding. That reminds me of a, a funny story. When I started racing, when I was younger, back in high school, I was on my local like elite mountain bike team. And I would do a lot of training on the rail to trail. We actually had a gravel one. So it was really great for like mountain bike training and intervals, but I, I would be speeding too fast and I got a complaint like someone called into the, the bike shop that was sponsoring us because I was wearing our, our shop jersey and they said this guy with the long blonde hair was speeding down the path and so they forbade me from doing that again in the future. So yeah, you can't speed on these paths, you can't go too fast, but it's okay. Today is a nice leisurely ride. Although right now we are riding next to the, the highway, so you do get a little bit of sound from the cars, but I imagine that'll get better. Maybe as we go a bit further ahead and branch away. And yeah, we still got some like apartment buildings nearby, of course. So we've got a few bridges or overpasses going over the trail. This is the, the dark one. so. Pretty soon, you shouldn't be able to see very much. Oh wow, yeah, I gotta get my sunglasses off. <laughs> it's quite dangerous. Wow, yeah, there's no like gap in the light except for in the, the two very ends. That's pretty nifty. Kawaii. No. No, not scary. So for the most part, there's not been too many changes. It's just a uh, long straight normal rail to trail path bunch of greenery and bunch of tree canopy but over here on the right we've got this large canal or i just i guess it's maybe a anti-flooding zone to help funnel the water maybe and actually over here we've noticed there's been a few like actual houses i think it's the first like few like actual houses we've seen here not just giant apartment buildings and Ini said that mostly the only people in singapore that can afford a house are like celebrities or like famous people or the company owner. <laughs> but yeah, seems like a nice place to live. You get the quiet escape from the city. We don't hear any city sounds anymore and we don't even see any high buildings anymore. So a nice relaxing place. And today is a very hot day. Yeah. <laughs> so make sure we stay hydrated. So we're starting to approach one of our main goal destinations here on this path. This is one of the old railway stations along this line. So I really love when railway trails do this, like they preserve the old like railway stations so you can see the old style. And this is, I believe the only part of the railway line that's still like intact here. So they left part of it. And you can see that right here. 
We got an old train car here. Very cool. There's the station. Nice open air station. Is this Hanzhong Panka to Johor? Johor is Malaysia. Oh, okay. Came to Singapore, Malaysia, in the old days. Mm. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. This is the this is the bridge with the old railway line here. So we got to get off the bikes and walk this part. This would be, yeah, some pretty rough, bumpy, rocky roads. The dude's got the mountain bike. That's the, that's the bike you need to cross this kind of path. So our time on the green corridor has come to an end. We're gonna turn off here and Nini's gonna guide us to another area, another one of her favorite spots. So we're gonna get back on the main roads now. I think she said it's an old like horse racing track area. There's a thrift shop, some other unique stuff over there. So should be fun. And yeah, these speed bumps in Singapore are fun. They're, they're kind of like little ramps. Like you don't feel the bump at all. So really comfortable compared to the speed bumps in Thailand and Vietnam's not so bad. The ones in Thailand though are pretty, pretty rough. So this is an interesting area. You can see all these different cars here. I guess this is a like car trading area for both new and used. Come to think of it, yeah, we haven't really seen any car dealerships since coming here, I guess. This is where they do it all. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen anything like that. That was interesting. Yeah, we're doing lots of climbing on today's ride. Climbing on the folding bikes after a 130K ride yesterday. Good workout. Tunshan's not phased at all. She's feeling really strong, I think. Is that the old horse track over there? Okay. So let's see what we got over here. Yeah, a bunch of different facilities. You can practice some soccer over here. And is this basketball or is this some different game? What is this? Netball. 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 Oh, so we're, this is actually the field like where the old horse track used to be. And over here on the right, that's the old like watching area. So you could watch the race from over there. And they're just repurposing everything. Yeah, they got soccer clubs, they got paintball park. I don't think, yeah, Tung's probably never done paintball. She probably doesn't even know what it is. That'd be a cool experience for her. I've only done it once myself, actually. Downhill time. Woo. We are entering the antique shop street, which they were demolished in next year. That's really sad. You said there used to be a lot more of these in Singapore, but they demolished most of them already. Yeah. So a bunch of different antiques, statues parked here on the outside. So Nini said they're building a new station around here. So they're like rebuilding this whole area, going to make it nicer. And so that's one of the reasons why this place is shutting down. But you can see this is just the outside. We haven't even gone inside yet, but there's just a whole bunch of different stuff lined up out here. And I'm surprised it's open this much. How much stuff they must have accumulated over the years. We've got some gold Buddha statues over here. A bunch more stuff over here. And there's so much stuff here. You can see it just keeps going further back and back. So let's go check out the entrance. I think that's where Nini and Tung are looking around right now. So I guess you can go inside here. Maybe there's more stuff inside. She said the inside looks really cool. Oh, we can go in part of the way here. They got birds too. What up birds? Hello. Hello, hello. No food, sorry. You guys are loud. Oh, wow. Oh, it is open. More inside. More inside. Yeah, we can go in. Okay. It's amazing inside. Yeah, let's go check it out. We can smell dogs. Yeah. <laughs> because no sunlight here. Mm. It's very humid. 
all the ancient Chinese furniture over here. Yeah. It looks like a prop shop, right? Prop shop yeah. for drama. They have all the equipment to film any like drama. So that was really cool inside, but apparently there's a few more shops here. These aren't all like just one massive shop. It's a street of some different shops. So there's a few more here that you can check out if you're into this kind of stuff. But yeah, there's so much diversity of different things here. I'm sure you can find something you like and it's going to be sad to see this place go. You should come while you have a chance. Lots of cool little paths back here. Some short little steep hills. We're getting a good workout in. Toon's bike has the 10 speed. So she's dropping us like flies on all these steep climbs. We're both on the, the six speed. Gets the job done, but some of the steep climbs are not so easy. We got some big monitor lizards here. That one's not so big. Tung saw a bigger one earlier and freaked out. <laughs> so we got some of the horses over there in the stables. And we got a little cafe here, the saddle club. So yeah, this seems like a nice place to rest and cool off and get some drinks. Let's go check it out. Yeah, here's good, nice view. We can see the horses. So a beautiful view here by the horse stables and our refreshments have arrived. We all got the same drink. So I think this is a ginger ale mixed with some mango and some coconut ice cream. And so Tun got one, I got one, Nini got one, and it's a hot day, so we're looking forward to some cold refreshments. How is it, Tun Chan? Mm, mango flavor. Mango flavor. Mm. Sour. Sour. A little sour. Not sweet. Not sweet? Yeah. Oh good, not too sweet. You don't like sweet things? Yeah. You gotta mix okay. in the ice cream, then yeah. it'll be more sweet. Hmm. Ice cream is good? Yeah. Need more ice cream. <laughs> Need more ice cream. You don't like ice cream. <laughs> okay, you like this one. Coconut ice cream, okay. Yes. Finished our little break and saw this nice bad boy out in front. Yeah, I imagine some of the, the people that visit here are going to have a bit more money. So, but we had a fun time coming out here. Really surprising stuff, just everything, the full loop, like cycling from the, the city center, Chinatown, coming out here to like, it's not really the countryside, but it feels like the countryside. And big thank you to Nini for guiding us around. <laughs> Gotta be careful on these bumps, especially on the small wheels on these folding bikes. Right here, oh, this is the steep hill. Oh. <laughs> what? Here we go! All right guys, we're coming to a conclusion of today's ride, today's video. We are going to be taking the train back, so we're gonna be departing ways here pretty soon and we gotta rush back and start making some preparations for tonight, but we had an awesome time on today's ride exploring Singapore by folding bike. We also wanna say a special thank you to Nini for showing us around again. No worries. And she didn't film a video today, but she also filmed some other videos with us, so she'll be uploading those on her channel. And we're gonna be filming some more videos together later tonight. So you'll see here in the future video, go check her out. And that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you next time on to a cruise. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.